Let's having fun with ethanoic acid. What is ethanoic acid? Ethanoic acid is commonly called acetic acid. It belongs to a functional group that called carboxylic acid. Ethanoic acid is colorless liquid and has a pungent smell. It is soluble in water and more acidic than water or ethanol, but less acidic than mineral acidic such as sulfur acid. This is the structure of ethanoic acid. The chemical formula is CH3COOH. After adding 5 until 8% of acetic acid in water, it becomes a vinegar. And it is mostly used as preservative in pickles. The melting point of pure ethanoic acid is 290 Kelvin or 16 Celsius. Hence, it's often freeze in winter when the climate is cold. This gave to its name glacial acetic acid. Without very lights, we also use acetic acid in daily life. For example, acetic acid present in vinegar and food as a household cleaner and used in vinegar and bicarbonate volcano. Acetic acid is popular for it present in vinegar. It is produced by fermentation and oxidation of ethanol. It is also used in food as an acidity regulator. Example of food are pickled vegetable or fruit, salad dressing, and sauces. Next, vinegar is often recommended as a household cleaner for removing smell and streak from window and mirror. It is found in some discaler for removing lime scale as it reacts with the calcium carbonate that lime scale is primarily composed. This is because acetic acid has a good antibacterial effect. Acetic acid can react with baking powder which is sodium bicarbonate to produce a volcano-like effect. This react with the bicarbonate in a neutralization reaction which also produce carbon dioxide and causing a fronting effect. This is to stimulate a real volcanic eruption or as example of an acid-based reaction. So, let's see the demonstration of bicarbonate volcano. What's up guys, my name is Nadia. My name is Balkis. Today we are going to present about Volcano, Volcano Demonstration. Here is the ingredient. This is vinegar as a acetic acid. And this is baking powder as a sodium carbonate. And lastly, spoon as a spatula. So, let's get started! Wait, 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 wait. Ah! First, you wear the glass to replace the Google. Oh. Next, don't forget to wear the mask. Next is neck cool. Make sure before you start the experiment, wear the covered shoes. Hello everyone, I'm a hygiene student and I will identify the class of acetic acid. Acetic acid is classes under industry code of practice as flammable liquid category 3, skin corrosion category 1A and can cause eye damage category 1. Therefore, we need to wear PPE like stated in usage regulation 2000 to avoid wearing eye damage and skin irritation. Bye! Firstly, we put the baking powder as a sodium bicarbonate into the volcano. Secondly, we put the vinegar as a acetic acid into the volcano. So, let's see the result. So here are the results of experiment. As you can see, from the result of experiment, the baking soda is a base and the vinegar is an acid. When the acid and base combine, an endothermic reaction occurs and releases carbon dioxide. The carbon dioxide gas rushes toward the bottle opening and also causes the dish soap to foam. And lastly, the gas and foam quickly fill the bottle and erupt from the top and causes a cool looking lava flow down the side of your volcano. For observation, we can see the classic chemical reaction between an acid, namely acetic acid, present in the vinegar, and a carbonate, namely sodium hydrogen carbonate, present in the baking. When exposed to acid, carbonate undergoes a decomposition reaction in which carbon dioxide is released as a gas. Hence, 
for acid-base reaction. First, the reaction that occurs is an example of acid-base chemistry. Vinegar contains acetic acid. Second, it has the chemical formula CH3COOH, and when mixed with water, acetic acid lost a positively charged ion, which is H+, and the positively charged protons in the water make the solution become acidic. Third, baking soda is sodium bicarbonate. It has the chemical formula NaHCO3. It is a base, which means that when mixed with water, it lost a negatively charged hydroxide ion, which is OH-. And lastly, number 4, acid and base are react together until there are no excess H plus or OH- ions present. And when all the ions of one type are all used up, the reaction is neutralized. Observation Chemical Change What happens when vinegar is added to bicarbonate soda? The overall chemical reaction between vinegar and bicarbonate soda is one mole of solid sodium bicarbonate react with one mole of liquid acetic acid to produce one mole of each carbon dioxide gas, liquid water, sodium ions, and acetate ions. The chemical reaction in this experiment divided into two steps. The first reaction is a double displacement reaction, secondly, decomposition reaction. In step 1, there is a double displacement reaction in which acetic acid in the vinegar react with sodium bicarbonate to form sodium acetate and carbonic acid. The carbonic acid is unstable and thus in step 2, it undergoes a decomposition reaction to produce the carbon dioxide gas. The carbon dioxide escapes the solution as bubbles. The bubbles are heavier than air, so the carbon dioxide collects at the surface of the container and it overflows. That's all from us. Thanks for watching.